welcome back to my channel michael and charcut is your girl diane bull don't want to watch those vlogs uh you already know if you don't then you need to know right now let's welcome all the new subscribers to the concha crew welcome bienvenido if you have not yet subscribed and i'm just coming up and you're like who is she get to know me go ahead right now go to the right hit that bell so you're notified every time that i post and every time that i go live all right and as always if you guys can please like this video share it with your family and friends come on my concha crew you know well what you do she know well what she do like shorty bay say and she deleted the other one because she know damn well what she did she know damn well she know what she did she's acting like the innocent when she's not the she innocent know, she knows she what she do and she thinks she innocent well she ain't the innocent all right you guys all right all right well i didn't cook i did not cook there's not diane puro wanna watch those kitchen today i did not cook but I actually have this delicious plate here. And right here, I have my brother-in-law, shout out to Matt. I have his red chili, his green chili, and his rice, his beans, and my sopa fria, which is a Mexican cold pasta. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you, I actually had this yesterday. Why? Because it was Isaac's 14th birthday. Oh my goodness. Shout out right now, Concha Crew. I need you guys to fill up these comments. Happy birthday, Isaac. It's his 14th birthday. And um, yeah, we were over at his birthday party. Oh my goodness, it was so cute. It was like the movie themed. It was just too cute. Uh, shout out to my sister, Crystal, as well. Um, but yeah, it's this is what it is today. We got this homemade food. There's nothing else, nothing more than the homemade deliciousness made at home. So shout out again to Matt. And then happy birthday to Isaac. I love you, mijo, so much. Happy 14th birthday. And shout out to my sister, Crystal. She had made this for me during Christmas. And of course, I haven't been on my A game. But look at how cute. This is a, a col um, cup coloring. It changed with the coldness. It was actually like a light pink. And now it's it changed blue because it's cold. But look at that right there. Diane, puro Guanajuato with the concha. And then she has a little con the little piglet, the little conchita, conchita, chinito, pinchi. Well, how you can say pig? Uh, cochinito. And then she has the the right there. That's the tricolor. Obviously, these are Mexican pan dulces on here. And then over here, oh look at that! This is so cute. Thank you so much, Crystal. And look at right here. She made this personalized cup for me. How cute with the little concha right here. Yeah, shout out to my sister, Crystal. I love this cup. All right, my friend. So you know what we came for. If you guys can join me for my prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of this meal. May it be nutrition to my body. Dear Lord, please bless the hands that made this. Provide a warm meal to those that are watching right now, Father. Provide a warm meal and comfort those on the outside as well, the less fortunate. We give you praise and thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. And over here, I have una tortilla. tortilla I don't know what's going on today. I think I'm just excited to eat. I'm a little to treat you. And in the background, I have my beautiful girlfriend. She's grubbing. La Reina de Mar. And I got Mama Concha over here. She up on her phone. You know what I'm saying? Hi. <laughs> she, uh, she, uh, uh, Mama Concha's on uh, Christian Mingles. Christian Singles. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's get in. I'm just going to start digging in. I'm going to get my tortilla. But let me tell you, this green chili. Mmm. Mm. It is so juicy. It's so delicious. It has a kick. Oh, the rice and beans. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? The steam. Oh my goodness. Mmm. This when it's so good, you don't even need a tortilla. You can just eat it like that. Look. Go ahead. Here my concha crew. Get the first bite. I don't know if it's gonna. There we go. Mmm. Juiciness. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's bomb. And us Mexicans, we love to eat our hot food with something cold. So I made this sopa fria. Very simple. Um, and it was a hit. It was a hit. I love going to this reminds me like going to like weddings, you know, or quinceañeras. 
because let me tell you, they got the, the birria, they got the green chili red. Why am I having problems? Who wants this? And I'm over here having problems grabbing this. Mm, can you hear that? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. That was the fatty part. Oh my God. Bomb. And then you just get the sopa fria. And I've made this before. This is um the the little, you know, I don't know what they call it, the the talanis um pasta i have shredded carrots i have diced celery and corn and it's the mexican mayo it's media crema and it's uh the juice of the jalapeno you know the pickled jalapenos mm. oh voila that is so good his red chili we're gonna try it right now i'm gonna try it with no cold pasta i just want to try the red chili itself look at that right there Mm. Matt, let me tell you. Him and my sister have talked about opening up a food truck. They, I don't know what they're waiting for. Mm -mm. Mm. The rice is so perfect. Oh my goodness. The beans are creamy. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'd be upset right now. I'd be over there taking bites behind the scenes. So yeah, it has been, it has been a moment. Let's turn this over here. Me and um, Ariel, my mom. Oh, hold on. We have been, well, we been binge watched. That is a good story. Mm. And it's literally a short one. It's like six episodes. But it's worth it. I recommend it. If you love that type of stuff, the car cartel stuff, you will love that. I mean, of course she was a monster. But let me tell you. It has a lot of twist in there. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is that she is a woman, you know? When I think of, like, cartels, I don't think of women. I think of, you know, obviously men. But her, a La Reina del Sur, which is from Mexico, Griseva, she's from Colombia. She's from, she's Colombian. You know, so and she's known obviously for you can Google it. I'm not gonna say it here. Mm. Another another novella based on a true story is La Reina de Sud, but I feel like they probably novellas they probably added some sugar to it, spiced it up, some spice. But those are both women, heavy, powerful women. And this is a field where you don't really think that women will be in. You kind of like, okay cartels like more men mm -mm. these women were nothing to play with nothing to play with i mean obviously i'm not saying that it's good you know to do what they did but just to learn the history of it the background wow you know this woman she was known as the black widow this is griselda Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. She was done as a black widow because mm. she was pew pew all her husbands. She pew pewed all her husbands. So she's known for that. She did have three boys and the youngest is still living, right? But wow. So when I was watching it, I was telling Ariel, I'm like, I don't know how anyone has the heart nor the mind to do such cruel acts. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Wow. I'm sorry. You know, they say money is the root of all evil. But wow, that's just something else. 
If you watched it, comment below. Give me, give me your opinion. If you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. But also, what do you guys watch on Netflix, Hulu? Can you comment below, recommend some good shows, some good movies? I want to tell you guys that they have a cheaper price. And I'm not promoting this. This is not a promotion. But I got the um, Netflix. And it's the one with commercials. And it's like seven bucks, eight bucks. Let me tell you, there's rare commercials that pull up. And if they do, they're like 10 seconds, right? I highly recommend that. Save your save your buck. We are about bargains here because obviously, if not, you're going to pay $16, $17. I mean, I'm fine with it. But I love me some Netflix, but I do miss Blockbuster. Mm -hmm. Who remembers Blockbuster? Where you would go, you know, I would go with my dad. And he would take us and we would go in and we would go crazy because we wanted to get our own, choose our own movie. Not to mention there was quite a few of us kids. And then, um, you know, you rent the movie and this was the VHS format. Girl, I love going to Blockbuster. I was <laughs> so sad when they closed it down. Right. I'm like, why? And I always wanted a candy and the candies were just like the movies these days, like the movie theaters. A little box of candy that you can get at the dollar store for a dollar or a dollar twenty nine because they went up. At Blockbuster, they would be like five, six bucks, and you would cry, throw a fit. <coughs> but yeah, I loved Blockbuster. I used to be sad when all the new movies would come out. But do you remember when all the new movies would come out at, on the on Blockbuster? And you would go that day, and you had to be there early. But of course, some of us had school and work, you know, back in those times. And so you would get there, and it would be... Like you would see the the face of the VHS, but when you grabbed it and it and or um they would be empty, mm -hmm. so you knew there was no more anymore. Oh my goodness, I miss those yeah. days. And my dad would get pissed off if he watched the movie and not rewind it. It's like, no, you're gonna rewind the movie. Like, didn't they charge you if you didn't rewind the yeah, movie? They charged like a fee or something. I can't. My dad would be pissed. Mm mm. Who remembers that blockbuster? Those were the good days. I wish I could go back to those days. Not have no bills, no worries. Yet alone right now, I literally got surprised. My car insurance went up like 25 bucks. Mm-mm. I couldn't believe it. God, things are so expensive these days. It's not cheap no more. Mm. Little Caesars pizza is not five dollars no more. That done went up. It's almost seven. The Jack Tacos are at ninety nine cents. They're like a dollar something. Dollar store is a whole lie because it ain't a dollar. They need to change it to a dollar and more, or a dollar plus more. But yeah, it's just crazy how expensive everything is we're talking about this on the live going track crew if you're not subbed right now you need to sub hit that bell so you could be metiche chismosas i love my lives i love going on and vibing with the whole contract crew but we were talking about how expensive eggs are mm -mm. Mm -mm. insane that's what i'm saying in mexico they got it made they don't, they don't need to pay no $6 for a 12, little 12 dozen of eggs. They got it all fresh, made. Mm -mm. But, I mean, let alone, like, me and Ariel, you know, sometimes we get really busy and everything. And we had, uh, one time went to Philly Berthos. I know, I know, but I had to. I was hungry and I didn't want no McDonald's, no Taco Bell, none of that. We went and we bought two burritos, you guys. Two burritos. Babe, how much were those burritos? Mm. Wasn't it like 26 or something? It was like 26 bucks. It was, we didn't even get drinks or anything. We got no drinks and they were like $26. I couldn't believe it. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Let me tell you what the burritos were. Ariel got a bean and cheese, just beans and cheese burrito. 
and I got my favorite, which is a California. California has carne asada, pico, um, and sour cream, sour cream, and cheese. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I just like the California burrito. I believe that's what it has because they have an Arizona burrito, which everyone comes for me because they're like, why are you ordering California burrito? You need to order the Arizona now because I love what I love. So yeah, um, we just got a California burrito and a bean and cheese and it was $26. Mm -mm. I said never again. Show sure did. Never again. For what? You're gonna save you money, might as well just get you a bag. You know, put some beans in the olla, in the in the pot, and cook them up. And then add some cheese, put it up in the tortilla. If you want them refried, mash them up with some lard. Yes, I know lard is gold for beans. Mm. I love me some frijoles charros. Some charro beans. I believe those are known also to the Americans as cowboy beans. Mm. Inside they have pinto beans. Everybody makes their different though. I make mine with pinto beans. I've actually did, did a video when I made them. If you want to check it out, it's on here. Mm. And I put bacon. I put chorizo. I put um, sausage, you know, the actual links, the ones that come like that. <laughs> I put those diced up in there. It's just all this deliciousness. I put some diced tomatoes, some onions, some jalapenos. Woo! Some salt, some pimienta, pepper, and obviously you let them cook and you let them get so good. And as they're cooking, you have them on high. Mm. You put some white queso fresco on top with the jalapeno on the side with some tortillas and that's it. It's a wrap. They're called charro beans. So delicious. I do have them. I did cook them here on my video before. Check it out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in heaven. I love, love red chili, especially green chili. Are you more green chili or red chili? Ariel's more red. I'm more green. But when something like this is so delicious, you, you are both. But I love, I must say what I love about Matt's green chili and his red chili, they both have kicks to them. So as far as the heat, what would you say, babe, the heat is, as far as the heat? Uh, for us, we like tapas and all that stuff, mm -hmm. so I feel like it's not hot at all. Um, but I do feel like for someone who is not really like a spicy person, mm -hmm. it's, it's probably hot. So for me, I would say it's like a four, but a four. I, I like salsa. So someone but that doesn't like spice. They, but maybe for someone who doesn't like spice, it might be like, I don't know, like a six. Seven. Mm hmm I agree. Like I, I said, like you, I don't need tree when I eat it, but it does have a kick to it, you know. She's saying that I'm over here. <laughs> but yeah, I agree with her. So if you're not into spice, his red and green chili is gonna be about a six or a seven. Woo! Out of one to ten, six or seven. Um, us that like spice, I don't know what's going on with me lately, but I think I'm one of those people because it's like, mm hmm. No, it's like a four. What I was trying to say is, I love how juicy, like literally his 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 meat comes out. Like the minute it hits your tongue, it just melts. It's so soft, juicy. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have any teeth, this would be perfect. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we had this yesterday and I wanted to showcase it on my channel because I definitely was like, wow, this is so delicious. So yeah, if I mean, if... Crystal, I know you support me. That's my sister, you guys. I don't know what you and Matt are doing, but you guys got to get this food truck. Get it up. Get it working. Because let me tell you, I would legit be a customer. Delicious. And of course, they also made tamales uh, green and red, which I already um, ate my green one. And then I um, there's some red that I got, a red one. And they had pizza, nachos for the kids. And my nephews... I have no nieces, so no. So those that are have asked, no nieces. 
I have five nephews and let me tell you their ages from eight five. yeah eight. oh wait I take that back oh my goodness okay. I no I have nieces I have two from Ariel no four. Oh my gosh oh her sister gonna come for me I have five boys nephews and from Ariel I have um four girls I have shout out to Dolly shout out to Daisy and shout out to Pineapple, aka Penelope. Uh, Penelope. Penelope. I, you guys, no, for the I love of me, <laughs> I, for the love of me, cannot pronounce her name. I say Penelope, and it's Penelope and Melody, and they're twins. They're one year old twins. Um, they're not identical. I don't know, like they're twins though. But let me tell you, I have four, four, and they are. Let me tell you. They are the cutest ever. Cutest ever. They have the cutest little smile. Right. The funniest, sassiest. Traviesas. Oh my goodness. I'm also call it right now so I can go see my baby. Traviesas. The little twins, they are, let me tell you, they won. They, they pretty much should be twos. Because they are traviesas. They are too cute. I mean, the minute they started doing their little steps, they already done got it. They were gone. And now you see them, they're like, la, 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 running. Oh, my goodness. But I always tell her sister, I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm being judged. Because, you know, you know, little, little, you know, little one-year-olds, they're like, I'll go in there and I'm like, hi. And they'll be like. And it takes them a minute to, you know, to soften up. But once they soften up, oh, my goodness. I believe it's pineapple. She does these little ojitos where you're looking at her and she goes like this and she goes. <laughs> Too cute. So, yes, I legit. I can't say enough. Kids grow up so fast. I remember, um, you know, Isaac, he was just a little newborn, you know, and I remember. And now it's like, woo, 14. Like in two years, he gonna be 16. He already got the mustache going. He's like, hello, yeah, all right. I'm like, what happened? Oh my goodness, time flies by, you know? I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, wow, time is flying by. Enjoy your time with your loved ones, my friends. Enjoy it. Life, you can never take, you can never get that back. Time, you can never get that back. But definitely enjoy all that time with your loved ones. All right, my Concha crew. Well, I'm done. Yes, talking, chapping away. But thank you for the love and the support. And if you watch this long, my friend, right now, please just right now comment. Um, Tia loves you. Tia loves you. T I A L O V E S and then Y O U. Hashtag Tia loves you. Again, hashtag Tia loves you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continuant support, your love, my friends. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.